The Royal Enfield 650 Twins are arguably the best thing that have happened to Indian motorcycling in close to a decade. A 650cc parallel twin engine, smooth performance, very mature motorcycles and a price that gives nightmares to the competition. Right out of the box, 47 horsepower, 52 newton meters of torque. That makes these motorcycles fairly quick. Now, by now, I'm assuming, since these motorcycles have been out for almost a year, most owners have changed their exhaust. Some have gone with Red Rooster Performance, some have gone with AEW. But no matter which slip-on you run, you're not going to gain anything more than 1.5 to 1.9 horsepower. Be it AEW, be it RRP, be it Swagman, be it Gursevak. Well, I've dynoed three of them, so I have a fair idea. Now, what if for some people this 1.5 to 1.9 bhp is not good enough and they crave for more what do you do then you already have an air filter you already have aftermarket pipes on your bike well this is where we replace brawn with brain ladies and gentlemen this is a powertronic piggyback ecu built by race dynamics in bangalore this piggyback ecu what it essentially does is it overrides the signal that your stock ECU sends to the engine, makes it deliver more power, more torque, instantly. Now, how much do you ask? Well, for starters, this makes about 3 bhp more and 2 newton meters more. So your motorcycle now will produce close to 50 horsepower, well, a slightly over 50 horsepower and about 54, 55 newton meters of torque. With this piggyback ECU, it comes with its own wiring harness that's uh, fairly easy to install on the motorcycle. The only difficult portion which most, well, some of you might not be able to execute is you have to open the tank. So you have to unbolt it, lift it up and then, you know, sort of uh, route the wiring. Now, if you, get, if you take it to a mechanic, it takes 20 minutes, but I'm not going to bore you with details on that. All I'm going to do is just put this on the bike right now. So it just sits here in this connector. This is the wiring harness. And it sits, it's done. So you just place it over here. This is a stock Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. This has no performance mods on it. It's running the stock exhaust. It's running a stock filter. And that over there, that motorcycle is running a DNA air filter with the stage 2 plate. It's running Red Rooster exhaust. And we've also added a Powertronics unit on it. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to first ride this motorcycle. I will try to do a 0 to 100 run. And I will also try and take it to its top speed. Then I will hop onto that motorcycle and compare the timings. I'm going to repeat and compare the timings and show you what these motorcycles are capable of and how much of a difference really does the Powertronic unit make. Okay, let's launch it out. 3,500 RPM. Try to launch it at about three and a half, four thousand RPM. It's starting to rain.
I don't want to push it more in the rain. Alright, let's try and launch this motorcycle. This motorcycle reacts with a lot more urgency than the stock motorcycle or for the fact that um, let's say you just take the powertronic unit off if you just have the exhaust the red rooster exhaust and the DNA air filter this motorcycle is still quicker than that that's because of the way the power is being made I studied the dyno results, the dyno charts that Red Rooster, uh, I'm sorry, that Powertronic provided to me. Throughout the rev range, throughout the rev range, this motorcycle, well, uh, from 2000 uh, RPM onwards, this motorcycle with the Powertronic makes more power till about where the power starts to drop off around 7200 RPM. So the difference is evident, it's, it's, it really is. This piggyback ECU, it comes with two rider modes. There's the mode, there's mode A, that is for the city, which essentially um, is a map that's tuned for low end, low end to mid range. So if you're in the city and you know, you're not going to be close to six, 7,000 RPM all times, you'd most probably be about 3,000, 4,000 or so. So it makes the pickup that much better. Your initial acceleration, it increases. And it's a map in a very mild state of tune. But it makes the motorcycle a lot more enjoyable. You can, um, you know, with the throttle response, very sharp throttle response, you feel like giving it a lot of throttle at most times in fact i love the throttle response so much that you know the stock motorcycle it's it it sort of feels lazy in comparison now outright performance is something that nobody really cares for on a day-to-day -day basis on a sunday morning ride like this one sure you're on a highway you know, you, you go out all guns blazing, but you're not going to do that on a daily basis again. So, when you're riding this motorcycle, numbers don't matter. It doesn't matter if this motorcycle makes 47 horsepower, or it makes 50, or it makes 55 horsepower. It really doesn't matter. What matters is how it feels to ride. 
and with the throttle response the riding experience is enhanced multiple folds now as i was talking about the two maps in this motorcycle i have been riding exclusively on the race map for the last two odd months and i absolutely love it the throttle response is extremely sharp extremely sharp and this motorcycle it just sort of becomes wild once you cross about 5000 rpm or so for the highway it's just perfect uh, the top speed does not improve but the acceleration does go up by a fair margin but a good thing is if you want the uh, low end part and not high end part you can switch the maps on the fly this unit which retails for 22000 rupees can be bought along with a switch a switch that you know mounts to the handlebar for example i've got this flasher mounted over here you can have the map 1 and map 2 switch mounted over here which is made out of extremely good quality not this uh, flimsy looking unit so you can switch your maps easily and on the fly while riding so that's that's really a bonus a red rooster exhaust is going to cost 19000 19500 the aw exhaust is going to cost you about 16000 to 18000 rupees the kursey work is going to cost you about 19000 rupees so if you talk in terms of relative uh, relative numbers relative spec i think the powertronic unit makes a lot more sense if you just have to choose between getting an exhaust for your motorcycle or this powertronic unit i think this is more bang for buck it gives you more performance for your money and it just is a, a, a it just is a safer option now why do i say it's a safer option well you know that you know uh, modifying anything right now and running aftermarket pipes is completely bad so let's say you're running stock pipes and you have a powertronic ecu piggyback ecu running in your motorcycle nobody can tell there's just no way somebody can tell and uh, fine you for running a performance part on your motorcycle now some of you might be wondering that performance really does come at a cost and that cost is fuel efficiency now um, i think i've put about what close to 1500 kilometers on this motorcycle in the last 3 odd months and i have not really seen a huge dip in fuel efficiency i still get about 22 23 liters to a kilometer earlier i used to get about 22 to 24 depending on my riding on my riding style and the way the mode that i would be in so if i would be ripping on the highway like this um you know 20 to 22 and um, that's what this powertronic unit is also giving me so uh, not a lot of drop when it comes to fuel efficiency so uh, is this the perfect device or the perfect power modification that you can get for your motorcycle well uh, not not quite it does have two small flaws that i would like to highlight uh the maps that come with this motorcycle they are easily switchable right and you can even load new maps so for example i got powertronic to make me a new map with the fueling slightly rich but the problem with that is the software that they have it's called artune it only works on the windows platform it does not work with mac and for people like me somebody who you know has a macbook you can connect your laptop to this motorcycle and you know just uh, upload a new map you will have to have access to a windows computer now the second flaw that i think this system has the cable that is provided it's it's one of those old school uh, vga cables that used to you know sort of come with tv mon- uh, with computer monitors now in today's day and age i would have preferred a usb type c that almost everybody has and uses so you know i don't uh, let's say i go somewhere and for some reason i have to install a new map on the motorcycle 
but I'm not carrying my cable with me. What do I do then? If I'm just carrying my phone charger, I should be able to plug that into the system and be able to, you know, just ride my motorcycle. Now comes the big question. Should you buy the Powertronic unit? Well, if you are looking to extract as much performance out of your motorcycle as possible and keeping it extremely safe, I think, I think this is the best thing that you can add to your motorcycle. I would recommend this over getting a slip-on exhaust because that only adds about a BHP and a half. This adds double of that, 3 BHP. It costs just a fraction more than what most slip-ons do. So if it's a toss-up between getting a, an exhaust for your motorcycle or getting a Powertronic box for your motorcycle, I would say get the Powertronics box. It just, it's just more power for your money.